Hi, I'm Tom Stevenson and welcome to Microsoft Project Made Easy. I'm a professor of construction management and I've taught tens of thousands of students at the college and university level and thousands and thousands of project managers and site supers over the years. In today's session, we're going to be looking at has your critical path disappeared using Microsoft Project? Where has it gone? What's going on? This can be a, an area of frustration for people because you're working along and then all of a sudden you notice, I don't see the critical path anymore. Why don't I see the critical path anymore? What happened to it? Have I shut it off? What's going on? And it can be very frustrating, I know. But let's take a look at this file that I've got up here. And by the way, I'm going to provide a link to this file that you can download uh, from uh, Google Drive and you can follow along some of the things, try different things out with it. So at least it's a well-developed file. I also have many, many videos on Microsoft Project on my playlist. I even have one called Microsoft Project The Course, which pretty much walks you through things and provides you with files. So you can try that too. But this is more troubleshooting today that we're doing in Microsoft Project Made Easy. So I've got this file and it's a classroom remodel. I've colorized the uh, work breakdown structure here. Uh, and you know, it's fairly well developed and it's about ready to be set as a baseline, but uh, I don't see a critical path here, right? And the critical path is the longest path through the network of activities that will complete the project in the shortest duration. So that's kind of the definition of the critical path. Uh, but I'm not seeing it here. Now, if I go to my network diagram, which I slide to the left and I right click, I should be able to um, see it in this uh, view, but I don't, right? So it's not showing until much later here in this particular example. So in this case, I'm seeing some of it here, but I'm not seeing all of it. Right. And so that's you're wondering, well, what's going on? Why don't I see the critical path all the way through? So I'm going to slide to the left. I'm going to go back to the Gantt chart. And again, we're looking at this. We don't see it um, for any of it. Well, that's in this case, have I got it turned on? That would be the first thing. Have I got it turned on? So I should go to the format tab and see. OK, let's click on critical tasks. And so now I still don't see it from the beginning, but I do see it part way through. And this is pretty much what I saw in the network diagram when I went there and it was turning red part way through. OK, so then the question is, well, why can I only see a little bit of the critical path? What happened to the rest of it? Right. And why isn't it being displayed? And so remembering that the critical path basically is the longest path through the network activities that will overall make my project complete in the shortest duration when we do the calculations for critical path, right? So we can see that we've got several things happening concurrently here and that it's flowing out and a couple of things concurrently there, but I still don't know what's going on. So I'm going to slide to the left. I'm going to go back to my Gantt chart. And I'm going to do a little bit of troubleshooting here. So if I take a good look at this, first place that I always look at when this happens, like number one, you know, if you want a correct critical path, you better make sure that you've connected all the activities, that there's no open ends. I've talked about this so many times in other videos, but it bears repeating, but I won't get into that troubleshooting for that. But you know, everything should be connected if you want to correct critical path. That's not what's going on here. I've got no extraneous activities that are super long down at the end or anything like that that's showing as the critical path in this case, because that's always a possibility. Somehow you've got something at the end and you said it's going to be, you know, 500 days and it's longer than everything else. Um, that would make that show up as critical and then none of this would show up. Uh, as being the critical path, but that's not what's going on. So then the next place that you really want to take a good look at, it's called the indicator column. This column is really your friend because it tells you if you've done specific things to activities, it gives you a heads up. And 
it's a good first place to look at. There's a lot of stuff that this shows. It'll show, is the task a recurring task? It'll show this little circle around it if it's a recurring task. By the way, that's possible. You could have a recurring task that's longer than your project. Say you set up site meetings or something that's longer than the overall project, but it's not connected to anything. It may be taking over the critical path. That's a possibility, but I don't have any recurring tasks um, shown down here. Uh, the other thing is if you have a special calendar then and that calendar falls on the critical path it could make the critical path disappear for every activity before you've assigned that special calendar for example if i go to project and change working time if i have like a special calendar say the plumbing subcontractor say the plumbing contract subcontractor does not work fridays if I place that on an activity that's on the critical path, right, it's going to make that, that activity that the plumber is doing take longer. And likely what it's going to do is it's going to make the critical path disappear on everything before that. And you might say, well, why is it doing that? Well, Microsoft Project is kind of saying to you, hey, you don't have a perfectly free-flowing critical path here because the idea of a critical path is too when you do updates and you do changes it things should adjust right things should flow well it because you've got certain constraints on it it may flow differently than expected so it's like a flag to say it's not exactly allowing the critical path to run under the standard calendar that you have the rest of the project going on so it's kind of flagging that in a way but it's also kind of frustrating as well um, so really, if you if that's disappeared on you before that, that's because of that particular calendar that you've applied. More commonly, the problem, though, is that you've got these little checker boxes here. And so you see here, this task has a start no earlier than. Depending on the constraint type, these are displaying constraints, right? Constraints are limitations you place on an activity. If I double click on install T-bar ceiling and I go to the advanced tab right here, like there's a bunch of tabs, right? So you go to the advanced tab and you see where it says constraint type. Look at all the different types of constraints. As soon as possible means from the perspective of Microsoft Project, you don't have a constraint when you're, when you're scheduling to a finish date. So as soon as possible basically means there's no constraint. That's the default. And a little bit on constraints. So I've got this, and I, I follow this a lot, practice standard for scheduling uh, by the Project Management Institute, right? And so the practice standard for scheduling under the critical path def definition, it says further to other definitions of the critical path, the critical path calculations consider activities and constraints to determine the longest path in the project. However, a critical path, and it's got brackets, specified critical path can end, for example, on a scheduled milestone that occurs at any point within the schedule model that has a finish no later than date constraint. Then it says, note that constraints are used selectively in schedule models and only after fully understanding their impacts. A critical, so it says that, and I, I won't read that next part. Then it says, sometimes it's necessary to elevate the importance of seemingly less significant work evolutions due to risk issues or other project specific requirements. In these cases, the application of constraints can alter the natural or unconstrained critical path of the project thus causing unexpected changes to project duration and cost. And really what you're what it's trying to articulate is use constraints very very sparingly. I'm not going to say never use constraints, but expect that when you do there's going to be things like that occur, all right? Because it's like saying well you don't have a natural free flowing critical path, right? It's like for example when I have this constraint here and this activity tape drywall gets done in eight days or let's say six days so you'll see it better six days right watch what happens to this activity this is going to move back 
this is not going to move back. See how that moved back, but it didn't do anything here. You know, like if I did this in four days, it's not doing anything there, right? So that means that that constraint is basically holding that there. And the other problem is that fairly new people uh, using Microsoft Project that haven't been trained on this start getting used to, you know, look at me, I can pick a date here. Wow, this is fantastic, right? And they start putting in all of these constraints. And so it says move the task, remove the link. Well, you don't want to have open ends. And then you say move the task and keep the link, right? And so it'll move the task and it'll keep the link, but it puts another constraint. Now, if you got a constraint on something that's not critical, it won't make the critical path disappear before it because you haven't interrupted that current critical path. But later when you make a change to something and that all of a sudden becomes critical, then that would do that same thing, make the critical path disappear before it. Now, I'm sure what you want to know is how do I fix it, right? Okay, it's not hard to fix. You can double click on the activity. You bring up the task information box, right? It's constraint type. Remember I said as soon as possible, that's the constraint, right? So basically that's taking it away. That's saying no constraint. And now that's disappeared, right? I've got one up here, rough in electrical. So I could go up here, double click. I could go to the advanced tab and say, as soon as possible, click OK, right? That's adjusted that. Now I've got two more. I could, by the way, go, if you say you've done this and you got like 40 of these boxes and it's gonna drive you crazy to remove them all, you could click on the row just like you would in excel hold the control key down click on this row right and then see where it says information this is for multiple information so see where it says it's the same as basically your properties box on each one or your task information box on each activity except it's for multiples so it'll let you do some things for a bunch of them at the same time so i could go here and i could remove them both at the same time if i wanted to or if i had 20 of them and i held the control key and just picked them i could do that or i hold the shift key to select a whole bunch in a row i could do that right i don't want to do that for all of them yet because i want to show you something else so i'm going to now remove this constraint here all right so i'm going to remove this constraint and as soon as possible and i click ok right um and click okay and so that made it disappear but look it's still gone why didn't it come back well because i've got this other one look i've got this other one out here with a constraint now you might be saying yeah but i do want to have that lag there well it's a lag so you could do it by putting a lag on it right you could say i want to lag this however many days this is to come out to whatever date so you can always make something land on something a specific date for the time being if you want using a leg right so that's always a possibility that you could uh, clearly do if you wanted to I'm just going to close that because I don't want to fix that now I want to I want to see this critical path everywhere so I'm going to double click here and I'm going to go to the advanced tab and I'm going to say as soon as possible and this should bring back my critical path right and then to my point maybe you wanted to have a lag there of so many days i would just double click on that activity and i would go to predecessors and i would say i don't know five days whatever whatever it is whatever date i want it to land on down here i could check it right and then that moves it out right but i still maintain the critical path so this is the troubleshooting concept that you can use for bringing back the critical uh, uh, path. Just remember, number one, you gotta have you gotta have it under the format tab. You gotta have it turned on, or it's definitely not going to show up. Two, did I do anything funny with any of the dates, uh, calendars, right? So as far as a special calendar, and if that special calendar is being used, is that uh, affecting the date? And three, did I check the indicator column for that uh, constraint box, meaning that little checkered box? And by the way, you know, it only the indicator column really only shows up on the entry view, 
but you can make it show up. It's one of my more popular columns that I use. Like say, say you were in tracking or something in the tracking screen, it's not there. Right click, type I, oops, type for insert or just click on insert. Type I for indicator and then look for indicators and then you've got it. That's now put it into whatever screen you want. You can always put it in and delete it, take it out from view. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it solves your problem of the disappearing critical path. And uh, please uh, check my playlist. You'll see uh, lots of videos and click the subscribe and notifications. You'll see as new videos come up. And I've got a ton of videos on all aspects of construction and construction management, site management, project management, uh, business construction, business management. So check out the playlist and we'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.